Here we are at Frying Pan Spring in Yellowstone National Park. Frying Pan Spring is behind me and it's actually boiling. That's how hot the water is. It's hot enough to boil, so it's at least 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. That boiling water, Frying Pan Spring. Yellowstone National Park was the first national park established in the United States and I believe depending upon how you define how you identify a national park I think this was the first national park created in the world that was in 1872 in 1916 some what 44 years later the United States National Park Service was created what happened in those 44 years between who managed the national parks? There was no National Park Service to care for the land, to make decisions about managing the people who came to the lands. As it turns out, a branch of the United States Army, a group called Army Rangers, was charged with the responsibility of managing the national parks. Thus was born the campfire, because the military does nothing better than corral people into a specific area and allow them to build campfires in that spot. Before they had that idea, people were coming to Yellowstone, treating it as their own personal playground, lighting fires that routinely got away and burned areas of the park. So the army rangers created campgrounds to corral the people to manage them and also campfires so that people could stay warm on those cold nights. And then many years later, the National Park Service was formed and they retained the uniforms for the most part, up and into and including the ranger hats worn by the park rangers. And so here we have Yellowstone National Park, the first park of its kind created, certainly in the United States, perhaps in the world, one of the more beautiful places on earth, plagued by the dual mission of the National Park Service, which says that the parks shall be managed for the use of the individuals to come to them, and also for preservation of these lands. Well, of course, the more people you let in, especially by highway, by railroad, by whatever means, the more degradation occurs. How to deal with that? That's up to the parks, I'm afraid. With, over time, relatively little guidance from Capitol Hill or from the legislators in general. But still, here we are at one of the more beautiful places on the planet, specifically Fly Frying Pan Spring. But we're spending about three days here in Yellowstone National Park. And I visited a few times when I was a kid, and then later when I was still a kid, it's spectacular to see it one more time. At the edge of extinction, only love remains. Bird got his 